Tree trimmers are coming over. <sighs> well, it's already partly chopped, but uh, they're gonna chop that up. How's it? Hey Luce, welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. <laughs> Oops. The channel. I'll get you OBS. OBS, OBS Studio, help us OBS Studio, you're home. Uh, hi, it's Thursday, it's the dramatic, um, March 7th, the tree trimming is happening. Um, as you can probably see, some of this uh, stuff. Oh, God, what the heck happened? Oh, mm, uh, things are all over the place. Okay. Yeah, so tree trimming. So I have to bring the tortoise over to that yard so the dogs, my sister's dog, are yapping at it right now. I had to park my car down the street, um, the little little teeny street because these giant giant trucks are going to come up and chop up these you're welcome basically two trees should be all day and then i'm gonna go see the movie dude welcome to arrakis <laughs> I'm just, I'm speaking of dune this is some spice or some coffee move it mm. Move it, absolutely. So, we're just gonna go try it's to touch. Right. Oops, <laughs> what? Uh, we're gonna touch on a couple little things, and that's like the blog here. Uh, it's a shark bit somebody, a tiger shark. Well, they bit the board, and the guy escaped, and I don't know, another. Sh it's like on this island, tiger shark. So, I mean, uh, I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Arrakis. It's all watery sharks. Come to Hawaii. Spend two dollars. Go snorkeling. So, um, yeah. And the big news, we have the President of the United States is about to do his State of the Union address. So, um, he's got, he's, he's the oldest president ever to hold, oldest guy, the oldest man to ever to hold office as president. And those two guys, you know, Trump and Biden, are the oldest people to ever run for office. Actually, they beat, by four years, the two oldest people ever to run for office. And they, that was their own record. They beat their own record. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to have the State of the Union address in the midst of the campaign cuckoo. And speaking of campaign cuckoo, and um, let's look at the Trump situation briefly, if we can be it brief, because he appeals for immunity, which means that he would be above the law. As acting president, I am above the law. And we know from Nixon days, that's just not how America works. But he's saying, if I don't have immunity, I can't be a president. I'm just like a puppet. I'm just like a, a bag of wind, a chattering monkey upon the podium. <laughs> Anyways, 
So he uh, is. So it, it it went to being appealed to the Supreme Court, and the court, of course, Supreme Court gets to decide if they want to review it. And um, what they decided was to reframe that appeal. So they took that, like, you know, is he, is he um, asking for votes from Georgia? You know, cut the phone call. Oh, give me 11,000 votes, 12,000 votes. Give me, give me votes. Uh, you know, is he interfering with the election? No, it's just freedom of speech. That's all. When he's doing anything yammering, whether it's threats or this and that, or it's freedom of speech. So all these little things are added into the appeal as um, defenses uh, against this January 6th stuff, which is going to come up. That's the Washington, D.C. District Court one. Oh, gosh. See, Washington, D.C. is is it's like state and federal both because it's D.C. It's a little, little thing. <laughs> so uh, so they're, they're importantly uh, trying to battle that. But here's what the Supreme Court does. They take, they take the appeal I'm close. all that little stuff in there, like freedom of speech and this and that. And, um, uh, during you know, all that. They took it and they framed it and they said, uh, we're gonna look at this point, this point, and this point, and the rest of it. No, 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 <laughs> the net. <laughs> so they wiped out a lot of it and just picked a couple things. And the couple things that Supreme Court wants to review, so they can make an opinion, which will be like the grand supreme statement for them as an authority upon such matter as presidential immunity. So they're gonna make a big statement. So this should go pretty fast, actually. They figure, I mean, it's a Supreme Court fast. Or like tourist. <laughs> but here's here's the interesting thing. Okay, immunity. Where? <laughs> Where? Right here, shh. Here's the immunity. Scota says, and this is four out of five judges are doing this kind of thing. Or, I mean, it's biased towards Trump, but this is not Close it. good news for Trump in a way. So it says the SCOTUS said, printed, a former president dot dot dot. So now they're already delineating presiding president former. Anthony. Okay, former president or current. Former, current. There's a division. So the former president, right? And official acts as opposed to non official acts. Official acts as a president. So official, non official. And, um, yeah, so they're kind of focusing on those things. So already they're saying a former president. So it's kind of like a rubric. In order to be immune, it looks like this is what they're going to do. They're going to make something like this. In order to be immune, it would have to be an official act. And while being president so those two things might cover a possible immunity for the president but if it's a former president no because <laughs> you're not uh you can't have official acts when you're not president anymore and uh -huh. so um say he's president and it's a non-official act no no and campaigning, getting votes for next time election, campaigning to maintain his position of power in office, campaigning, getting votes, that's not official presidential business. So all that don't count. None of that counts. And he's former. And even if they argue he's still and that's former and it's not decided, 
it's not official acts so nope so that kind of stuff is um the january 6th thing is on you know that's probably what the supreme court's gonna come do say that and it's probably not gonna barf i mean so the supreme court's gonna barf they're not gonna vomit to sit forth until probably like may so may and then you do a little timeline with the court system they might have a january 6th trial in august and it's kind of these are these are things that are, I'm, I'm getting from this these, these are all lawyers that i'm listening to on youtube so check out midas touch midas as in like king midas that turns to gold and touch please leave midas touch go check them out they're like lawyers and they're they're just like talking about it and you know they're like we don't want this to happen and they're talking about this stuff in the legal frame that's where i'm getting all this info from just to shout out kudos to the sources midas touch you guys they're doing they're doing they're doing right <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like he's going to have a trial. And out of, um, he's going to be con uh, a convicted former president by the time the general election in November 2024 happens. Yikes. And all those people that are going to vote for Haley are going to be. What is that? Oh, well. Let's <laughs> vote for the Democrat guy. Anyways, let's see what's going on in paper chat. And I forgot to bring it up. Patient. See, it makes all the difference. I'm <laughs> prepared. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go over here. Ready? Here's the paper. There it is. Oh, look. They're going to legalize recreational marijuana. Well, it's still alive. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> so, um... I think they should do this, not just because of extra state tax dollars, because they can tax the heck out of it. It's because um, actually alcohol is more dangerous than this, but it's going to be in the same category. Don't smoke and drive, <laughs> don't operate large machinery. But it also could bring a lot of people away from fentanyl. Can you hear it? Fentanyl. But, um, so my little thing is a little bit, oh, and repeal. How do you feel? I don't know. Same-sex marriage is considered repeal of the authority. Oh, oh same-sex, whatever that, okay. So the LBGTQ LBG plus ABCD, uh, they're going to have it. Oh, and it's still basketball. Okay. Oh, uh, you know, hey, how about back in the day? You know, kind of relax already. Oh, I remember back in the day I need to relax. Just go out and milk some cows. 1964. Lahaina Luna High School on Maui. Oh, 1964. Specialized in boarding program what over do you want? agriculture. They milk cows that supply the school cafeteria with milk and cream. <laughs> this is how we get milk in school. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, hmm. Okay, here's a political cartoon. Oh, gosh. Unprecedented job growth records show stock market historical low employment, falling inflation. You're welcome, says the G, because they're claiming credits. Figures. They're, yeah, it's, it's all, everything bad is them, everything good is us. Oh, God. Trump speaks of the primary election in South Carolina. Oh, gosh. Are you scared? I don't know. Okay, here we go. And just don't, not to be one-sided, so, you know, I mean, I'm kind of biased on, you know what, but let's read this one. <laughs> it's a Trumpy. Bring back Trump. Save our nation from liberals. During former President Donald Trump's time in office, the borders were fully secured. Those seeking asylum from other countries had to follow the process of U.S. immigration law to enter this country legally. But when Joe Biden became president, he made a drastic change and opened the borders. Under Biden, 7.3 million migrants illegally crossed from the southern border, exceeding the population of 36 states, according to Fox News study. The important fact gatherers. I believe that the liberal Democrats who seem to ignore the needs of Americans gave the illegal 
migrants free benefits including housing, medical, state identification, and monthly checks. If this doesn't bother you, Jessica, as Je and Jessica, as a taxpaying American, remember that you are paying for it. I am hoping that Trump will be elected president and return common sense to a nation that is being dismantled by the Democrats. Melvin Partido Sr. Pearl City. <laughs> Watch out, might dismantle something. Um, uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> you know what a thing I found out about this border? I mean, the border thing has been a situation for the longest time. Give us your hungry. And you just can't uh, kind of accommodate that many people. But the people in these, they're fleeing Mexico or wherever. They're fleeing their country because their country is crapped out, ruined, and they're going to America for opportunity, right? And then they send money back to their families in that country, Fed Exit or whatever, Wire Western Union. So now they hear, they know, they hear, they they, they turn in their 1945 radio, and they listen to what's going on in America. What's going on in America? And when a presidential election happens, they know because it's a, it's a Democrats. The Democrats are have like they you know they support social security and stuff, social programs. And when it's a president like that, they it's like migrate now. Now's the chance. And when it's something like Trump who shut down the borders and put people and separated the families and put them in prison, deported, when they're doing that, because it's a big effort to try to cross the border illegally and it's dangerous. So when, and sometimes it costs them everything they have. So when it's a president, they're going to like, oh no, social, you know, it's like imprisonment instead of, I don't know. They hear about that and they go, no. So when they, when a, a, uh, a liberal president's happening, they're like, rush, go now, go now, now's the time. It's like green light. <laughs> they know, they hear that. That's why this, like, it's not because they open the borders. The borders have never been opened in a sense. It's like Trump tried to build a wall and he failed. That's it. The, the borders are the same as they were before, but the whole processing thing needs to be revamped because there's just too many people anyways have a great day <laughs> aloha aloha it's gonna be time for the cheese cheese come down cheese come down oh and when the bell breaks the great aloha to you